Hey guys, it's Ty here, and sorry about that fan if you hear that in the background. It's just too hot here right now to not have it. Just took a shower and it's like I had the hot water on, you know. <laughs> Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do your testosterone or vitamin B12 shot. I did uh, testosterone for almost four years, shots, and I also tried gel once too. And um, this is the same concept pretty much. I'm doing vitamin B12 shots because I have... Um, I had a deficiency in it and I still have some like issues going on with it So I have to do this myself at home or else I'll have to go to the doctors three times a week to get it done So yeah, no, nobody's got time for that, right? No, I don't I, I definitely don't um, So this is for sub Q shots or intramuscular um, I do so I do intramuscular because this works better for me Sub Q, it works for some, doesn't work for others. With testosterone, it tends to most of the time always work um, for both. But vitamin B12, it's like, I guess the word's finicky, where it some people feel more with intramuscular and some people feel about the same with sub Q. Um, whichever your doctor told you to do, this is sub Q. This is intramuscular. Intramuscular is a longer needle and it goes in your muscle. Sub Q is a smaller needle and it goes in your fat. Um, so yeah, subcutaneous, intramuscular. So yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna be showing you really quick um, is this is the needle I use for vitamin B12. You can also use it for testosterone. Uh, depending on your size, if you're small to like medium, you might be able to use this. If not, you might have to get a one and a half inch needle, um, depending on what your doctor tells you with like your BMI and all of that. Um, I do 25 gauge times one inch, three ml because you want it to be a little bit more than your dose or else it's like harder to get it all the way in there and you're just gonna have trouble. So yeah, so since my dose is one microgram or one on here, you know, you want it to be longer so I can draw it up easier and not have problems with it, you know, all of that. So you obviously wanna make sure your hands are washed before this. I just washed my hands and just had a shower, you know, all that. So you open it up, make sure it's like unopened and stuff because you want it to be no bacteria and stuff because you know, that stuff's gonna go in you um, and potentially give you an infection or whatever. Um, so yeah, so what I first do is I tighten it um, so that way I, I know the needle's not loose on there when I'm putting it in my leg and it's moving, you know. Um, something you need to, obviously, I should say, is alcohol wipes. And if you want a Band-Aid, or if you're just a bleeder, you want a Band-Aid anyway, hold pressure and stuff and stick it on there. Um, and then you might want a med box like this I have a metal med box, so I put my stuff in it so I know it's all for meds. Uh, so I live with kids, you can also lock it so that way, you know, kids can't get into it and stuff. Um, you have the key for it. Um, or you could just put it like in a, if you want, like a Ziploc baggie and put it in a closet where nobody can get to it. You know, things like that, higher on the shelf, you have the kids. And then I got all, all my medicine in here, this is all the B12. Uh, all my other needles, you know, and supplies. For testosterone, you might want a uh, draw-up needle too because the substance is thicker. So you would put that on here first, draw it up, you know, do all your stuff, flicking it, and then uncap it, pull it back, put the new one on, pretend this is the new one, the one where you're gonna actually inject with, put it back on, draw it up, make sure there's a bubble at the top, boop. And then yeah, you're pretty much good to go. B12, it's thinner, so I don't really have to do that. Um, unless I want to, I guess. Uh, maybe I just want the needle to be a little less dull. I could do that too. I've done it a couple times um, before. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're going to, so my dose is one, for example. So I'm gonna go all the way to the one, and I'm gonna do it a few times like this, just to make, get it going. I'm gonna go all the way to the one, like that. All right, and then we're gonna uncap it, put the cap somewhere. I have a little stand right here that I'm using. Undo this, and we're gonna take this alcohol wipe. Could have done this first, but it doesn't really matter. And do this for about maybe like 10, 10 to 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, five minutes later. <laughs> all right, that's about good. Make it all dried off. And then once you give it a good dry for a sec, you know, you pop this in here right in there straight because you don't want to dole it out too much push it in push this backwards go a little bit down where your needle is into the med and pull it hey pull it until all of it is in there or as much as you can get you know you don't want to leave much in there because you want that's all going to be your whole dose all right and that's all of mine 
stick that here see if there's some bubbles go boop boop flick now you're gonna draw all the way oops it's okay if a little comes out you can use it like i have a tiny trash can you can even do that until you get it and then you gotta get the bubble out again because there was a bubble still out and now it's all the way to the top um i have a bubble still so i hit it a few more times I'm gonna put the cap back on gently. I'm gonna throw this in the trash since I don't need it no more. And this little alcohol wipe. Then, now you get, you can obviously throw this away too. You also may need a sharps container so when you're done with this, you put it in there. Cause you don't wanna just throw these in the trash. If you happen to go in the trash and you stab yourself or somebody else does, you know, obviously that wouldn't be good. Um, a sharps container or something that you could put it in, maybe like a shoe box and then you write on it in big letters, needles in here, careful, or something like a along those lines got my band-aid i like to do this first just to have it like all set up after set that there and then you would take your other alcohol wipe and open that up since i had a shower and washed up you know technically you could um not you might not be like you could not use one of these if you already like just just took a shower and washed up but i just do it for the heck of it just to be sure um i do it on my leg you can actually do it in your arm, leg. If it's subcutaneous, you could do it in your stomach um, or your leg um, or like on a part of your arm, which I'm not really sure about that one, like where it is. Um, obviously you want a doctor to show you this first. I'm just showing you so it can like ease your nerves a little if you got taught and you just wanna like watch somebody else do it or you wanna just feel confident that you can do it. Um, I never thought I was gonna be able to do this. I had a nurse for like the first year, year and a half doing it for me. Uh, and eventually it got to a point where like I'm not having a nurse in here three times a week doing this that because the testosterone was once a week for me so like this three and three times a week for a while it's just too much with having to do that I might as well just do it myself and learn um and I've seen them do it enough times I also have a sister that's a nurse so if I ever like have trouble I can always ask her a question so like yeah you want that support system there so you always can ask a question all right so here we go all right so here is my one leg here and my other leg so you're pretty much going to find your muscle however they showed it or if it's for the fat you would find the fat and hold it i mean i kind of hold the fat i don't know if you really have to or not for muscular uh, intramuscular but i do it anyway um and you pretty much just find your spot and you go like a pencil 90 degrees unless you're doing sub q you can do it 90 degrees or if your doctor told you 45 degrees you know you turn it at an angle but for mine i do 90 degrees so like a pencil one two three ooh. But I have a hard time doing that, so sometimes I go a little bit quick, and then I kind of slow it down. And then I draw, I put all my medicine in, lift it out quick, throw an alcohol wipe on, you know, and hold it. And then I put my Band-Aid on, and I'm done. Like, I would do it around about, like, here-ish. Sometimes you get some bruises, as you can see. I obviously went in a spot that wasn't, like, 100% the greatest, but I'm still living. I'm still here, so obviously I'm okay. But yeah and sometimes it just gets sore because i do it so often too so i switch legs um i might just be a bruiser too who knows a couple times i've done it in my arm um and it's been fine but it's just like i'm not i don't feel as confident in my arm so i just do it all in my legs because i'm the most confident with it and yeah, yeah i'll show you what it looks like after i do my shot and then something i'm looking to get is an auto injector that you can actually buy and it's um it's off union medico i think it's called or you could always look it up, just put it auto injector, union medico, or something like that, and it'll pop up this auto injector. It's a little pricey, but it presses the button and it puts it in for you, so if you have trouble actually getting it in, because of that fight or flight response you get, you know, it can help out a lot. And I might review that soon, because like that could help other people who don't know that you could buy that. Because like, I don't know, I, my insurance doesn't cover the ones where it comes in pre, you know, pre in a disposable one and you click it. I have to use these, so like, if you want to save up your money and get your own like a one that's reusable last you three four years i mean it might be worth it so like yeah thank you for watching and see you later hey you just finished the shot it took me two tries because one spot was just not going in well sometimes that can happen if your needle got a little dull so yeah then i put it here and it's good i put it below the bruise because i didn't want to put it in like a similar spot but yeah there's my shot all done just down thanks for watching